to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join our various gaming groups as we play the 5th Edition of Dungeons & Dragons. And maybe just hang out and chat about gaming in general. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, no, we must flee. The orcs will beat us or bring their master. We must help <laughs> all that we can escape first. And of course, these three guys stop working and look, and these two guys kind of get closer away from the whips and the wolves. And these two guys are just kind of like slowly walking away from the cave entrance for some reason and looking up like, what's going on up there? Because, of course, there's like 10 foot wall and 10 foot wall and 10 foot wall of whatever's going on up up in this area they can't see. So, Exno, what are you going to do? <laughs> I want to hide. Uh... You have uh, the ability to hide or disengage as a bonus action. Yeah. Hmm. I was trying to read all the things to see what I could do. Yeah, some uh, of them might be hold action for a bit, you know. Yeah. Until they get closer, but. Hmm. Uh, Hiding is always a good thing, but you may want to do something before then, like buff the party or heal somebody yeah. or. Is there somebody already not uh, already hurt? Wait. Well, the slaves definitely are not in good shape. They've only got like two to three hit points tops right now because they've been beaten, malnourished, you know, fingers all scratched up. They've been worked to the bone. Like um, your goblin there, a stiff them... breeze can knock him over. The one that just joined you. Uh. Did he bring the shovel or? He does have his little two foot shovel. Okay, well, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. Um, it's a trenching tool that's the equivalent of a hatchet. <laughs> hmm. He's embracing his inner goblin Spetsna. <laughs> I I kind of just want to hide and hold action. Well, if you're holding uh, action, what action for what? So. Uh oh, right. Sorry. Uh, I just yeah, I just kind of want to not. Just sit there. Um, I can't. <sighs> if you don't have an action specifically picked, you can just hide and wait for your next turn. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to necessarily heal this little goblin because I don't have a lot of spells. <laughs> and yep, well, that's fine. The trickster god is selfish with his heals, mm-hmm. and so are his clerics. Yeah, I'm just going to sit and hide. Okay, that, that's not a bad plan, I mean. Hey, Jim, since we were looking over the field here, um, did we notice whether or not they have ranged weapons or uh, These three orcs that are looking at you definitely do have uh, javelins. Yeah. I can't Hopefully. see the whole, I can't see detail without blowing up the map where I can't so these... see what you're doing. Okay. Let me, let me make my ping a better. The ones on the way. left. The ones that okay. basically had seen you guys. They they've got javelins, you know. These guys they're carrying javelins, mm-hmm. and these guys over here have javelins, but they're like yeah. way far away. Yeah. Don't worry about the left side too much just yet. Can we um tell the slaves to lay flat so that they're harder to hit? You can totally do that. 
Yeah. Lay you flat, can, you fools. You can hide if you need to. I mean, hiding is a thing. Is a, is our goblin? Are you gonna roll a uh, stealth for hiding? Oh! I noticed you didn't roll for one, so I was just just want to double check before we move on to the next person. Before we move on, right? Uh, can I mend the shovel the goblin has? You can totally do that. Just to make it a little stronger. You tell the goblin, hey, stick your shovel out real quick. What's the and mend is touch. You have to go over there next to the goblin. Okay, I will. Uh, I just put out the spell first. Okay. And then I want as soon I'm gonna, ugh. Okay. or I guess behind him. <laughs> Use him as cover. Yeah, and then once I do that and mend it, I want to hide again. So when you touch his shovel and your magic fixes it, what does it look like? Um, shimmery orange. And okay, then so it we'll... kind of like bleeds into it and heals it the way you do with mending, and then that's it. Okay. And then uh, go ahead and roll your stealth as you hide. You you kind of like pass behind a small tree and blend in with the greenery. Because that's a really good stealth roll. Yay. Okay. I'm so for the other time. So you you have a firm belief that that none of the orcsuses can see you. Yay. So what's our hobgoblin going to do? All right, our buddies over here. That are, that are about to throw javelins at you guys? Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully not. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so you immediately cast sleep. Uh, I'm assuming it's somewhere in the middle of their clutch. Yep. Okay, so uh, where's the, the, the epicenter of your spell? So I know which one's probably the first one to fall over. Uh, it'd probably be like... Uh, I'll be like right in here. Okay, so immediately you cast the words. Uh, what are the goblin words of slumber? <laughs> um, actually, um, no, because my... I cast my magic in um, uh, Infernal. Ooh. Angry words. Oh, that's where I get some of my insight from. Okay, so immediately <laughs> this guy falls over asleep. And the other two look at him like, they, they, they kind of look and they're like, did he just get shot with elven arrows or something? What happened? And the other two kind of look at each other and kind of grab their javelins like, okay, we need to throw our javelins. So only one of them crashes out. Okay. These orcs seem to, these or, half orcs seem to be made of stern stuff. Anything for your movement? Um. Uh, just to uh, hunker down behind a tree or whatever. In case you're going to drop to a knee, so in case they throw javelins at you, they're at disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the wolves, you know, bark and chase and snap at the people. So, Ragna, what are you going to do? Kind of put an X so you know which one's taken out. In case you can't see the itty-bitty little symbol. And, Ragna, are you muted? Ooh. As Ragna's throwing a javelin, but we can't hear her say that. <laughs> so which one are you shooting with your javelin? Sorry, ping that again. We still can't hear it's you. It's the bottom one, or the closest one. Okay, so the, so the one that's closest to you guys. So 23 will definitely hit. For nine points of damage. Noise. Okay. Very nice. And by the way, we still can't hear you. I know. I had it muted. Oh, okay. No, there you are. There you are. Okay, so you throw your javelin, and you kind of stick him solidly in the in the stomach area. He kind of pulls your javelin out, and he looks at you, and he gets stink eye. Super duper stink eye. Anything for your movement or any bonus actions? I don't have anything I can do for a bonus action. That I want to do right now. So I will just continue hiding in the bushes. 
Okay, are you, are you like crouching down? Trying to make myself look as small as possible, yes. Okay. So then it's going to be your friend, and he's like, I wish someone had a bow for me. Unfortunately, you only found my sword. Hmm. I don't remember if there were bows in the... There wasn't. They they took offense to him shooting them with short bows, and they broke his. Ah, okay. So well, he's going to go ahead and try to stealth, and all of a sudden, he has the best stealth ever, and he <laughs> hides himself sufficiently. He's like, I'm going to hide behind Ragna, and even kneeling down, she's twice the size I need to hide behind. So what does Tarkin do? And why am I missing orcs on the list? Oh, know. sorry. The orcs, orcs are next. Sorry, I thought that symbol was his, but it was actually the orcs. Okay, um, so not the, the goblins. Okay, no, nope. right. the um, goblins are the nine. So all of a sudden, you see these two, two that are still awake, and they heft their javelins at you guys. And since they can totally see uh, Geldrin and Ragna from their their pseudo hiding spots. This one's going to throw at Ragna because she stabbed him first. It's only fair. And this one's going to go ahead and shoot at Geldrin with their javelins. So first at Ragna. Will an 18 hit you? I will take your silence as a yes. Oh, oh, jeez. And for some reason, it's not rolling the damage. Hmm. The trickster god intervenes. Right. <laughs> okay, so four points of damage. As our wizard sees a javelin coming and hopes to intervene with it, but will a dirty Ouch. 21 hit? Uh, Yeah. I mean, they got armor class, but not that good. Okay, so then they're going to hit you for... Seven points of damage. Ouch. As they give as well as they get. And they're going to, of course, continue heading towards you guys. And because they're angry orcs, as a bonus action... Uh, well, they're half orcs. So they, they, oh, they still have aggressive, yeah. So they're gonna both use their aggressive to like blatantly run towards danger, cause that's what you do. So they can move up to their speed towards a hostile creature that they can see, and they can both see both of you guys. Unfortunately for terrain. them, rough terrain, right? Yep, that difficult terrain is jacking them up. It is very intimidating for these two slaves that the orcs just ran up behind them and are kind of using them as hostages. And then these orcs are going to double time it. And they're going to totally dash and then do their super duper aggressive thingy. I put a marker so I don't have to measure them twice. Huh. And then I have to worry about the pink circle around them. As they are moving insanely fast towards danger. Dash and then their aggressive, you know, bonus action run. They, these guys are like triathlons over here. <laughs> Okay, so what's Tarkin gonna do? All right. Um. Let's see. Uh, he'll fly down here. Uh, run, fools! <laughs> run, you fools! He's not gonna say fly, you fools. <laughs> no. And they kind of look at the bird like, what? What? 
Problem is, these two orcs here are on the way up the ramp. I mean, they could try to climb the wall as they kind of look at each other and like, hey, you, get on my shoulders. We can help each other climb. So it is the slave's turn, and your brave little or your brave little goblin, he goes running out there, and he's going to attack one of the orcs. Oh, jeez. Oh, good for him. That's, that's harsh. That's super harsh. <laughs> As he comes up there and he's just like, eh, mighty nine, because he's still at disadvantage because he's unhealthy and sickly and hungry. He swings and the orc just kind of looks at him as he pings his she- she, you know, little shovel off the orc's armor. And the orc just grins like, I'm going to eat you. Too bad you didn't use your 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather save that for somebody that'll do a little bit more damage. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah how I feel. Um, As the the bravest goblin ever, and he's yet to be part of your war brand. <laughs> if it helps, I'll give him a purple pink mark there, so you know who's the brave one. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, these two goblins chained together are going to try to run for it, and each of the orcs is going to take their attack of opportunity on a goblin. Ah, shit. Corresponding with the closer ones. So the one that's on the left, the orc swings his axe. And, wow, that's not going to be pretty. Hey, look, no damage. Yeah, that's weird. The gods are on their side, apparently. (laughs) As uh, needless to say, the little goblin... Yeah, he's he's definitely not at full hit points. Goes curse splat. And then this one is hoping that the gods will bless his escape because yes, yes, I I I praise for escape. And damn, he gets hit too. Yeah. As he also is cut down by the orc. The brave oh. Little goblins that tried. As there's two dead goblins that tried running away. All of a sudden, this guy feels way less brave, by the way. Because it's not three goblins against two orcs. Yeah. These two guys, they're going to they're gonna look at Tarkin's words and they're like, you know what? Fuck this. Let's see if we can climb out of this hole. And they're going to try to athletics that shit. And they're working together, so they have advantage, but they both rolled nine. As they kind of climb up, and you see them kind of skitter down from pure weakness and the the sheer cut of the cliff there. And they're just like, Jesus Christ. And these guys are basically cowering in fear, because they know these two orcs, a single crack of the whip, and they're going down for good, probably. Except they know these damn orcs will probably give them medicine and put them back to work in the morning. Mm Mm-hmm. So, Exna, you just saw two goblins get murdered that tried Mm -hmm. to flee towards you. Your brave little compatriot is running out there all alone to face these two orcs. What would you like to do to help him? Or your party? Uh, I'm going to help my party. And we'll see if I can help them. So, um, I want to use Toll of the Dead cantrip on which one of them is actually hurt. This one? or Uh, The one on the right. That's the one that took the javelin from Ragna. Uh, this guy? Yep, that guy. Yep. Okay, so I want to use it on him. Okay. And then after that, I want to use Shield of Faith on uh, which one? Ragna or Bossy? Boss dude. Uh, I can't yes, see your name. Is I'm Shield sorry. of Faith a bonus action? Uh, no, it's a full action. So the Toll of the Dead is a bonus action. And... Now my Are you sure that was a bonus wanna... action? Something like... said it, but my character sheet doesn't want to do shit right now. Hold on. Because <laughs> I only think healing ones are bonus actions. I don't think the damage ones are bonus. That's I don't think so. Weird. One of them said a thing. Hold on. I'm looking. Your, your healing uh, one probably did, but... Spells. Spells. I want, I want the spells. Yeah, like healing words are bonus action. Bonus action. No! Uh, Shield of Faith is a bonus action. Okay, so Shield of Faith is a bonus action. Okay. So I want to use, yeah, 
Okay. So which one are you casting up there first? And kick the shit out of them, just so you know. You what? I'm about to run up there and attempt to kick the shit out of them. Yeah, so I was thinking, Ragna, that I was going to use the shield yeah, effect on you. that's fine. But, uh, so Toll of Dead first, I guess, okay. right? Yep. Okay, nah, so you need a wisdom saving throw from the wounded guy. Wounded guy. Who's going to roll a seven. Perfect. And then here's the shield of faith for Arachna. Okay, so roll and because your... I, oh, sorry. And yeah. because I used it as a bonus action, I can't hide, right? Yep, because you, you've used up your bonus action. Okay, so but then you've I'm given going... Ragna plus two to AC, so we'll put the little cool. symbol on her, so she mm-hmm. sees she has armor. Okay, then I'm gonna go here. Okay, and don't forget to roll your damage for your toll the dead. Ooh, I get to do that. Hold he on. He failed his save, and he is wounded, so it is a D12. Oh, whoopsie! I didn't mean to do that again. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, what am I rolling? A one D12? Yep, a one D12. Okay, one D12. You want to roll high. Let me just put it that nope. way. Nope. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of see his his wound kind of turns nasty and rotten and kind of like starts, you know, seeping some horrible color pus that looks even worse on an orc because, you know, they're a horrible color of green. <laughs> it's because they're green skinned, but they have the black blood. Right. Not the cool green goblin blood. Okay, and then you're running behind, so you have a chain of people hiding together. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Toll, shield, and run. (laughs) Okay, so what's our wizard going to do? All right, well... On our... Buddies that are at full tilt over there on the right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will do that again. Cast sleep. Look at you burning the big spells. Okay, so yeah. whereabouts do you put the okay. center of the sleep? Right in the center of them. Okay. So we'll say the last one is the one that catches that sleep spell full in the full in the face and takes a face plant to the ground that does neither damage nor wake him up from falling asleep. Because that would be tor- horribly bad that if he fell asleep, then, then that broke the, the sleep spell. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's the one caveat they forgot about in that spell. Yeah. Okay. And the other two kind of like look back at him like what just happened, but they're 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 intent on the two targets that they can see here. Okay, anything for your movement or bonus action? Um, do, 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 I don't know. I don't think I have anything I can do for bonus action or anything. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I got anything. Um. Yeah, no. Just uh, get ready with my uh, glaive. To glaive. Okay, so you're ready, <laughs> your glaive. Okay, so wolves are snapping and barking at these slaves here to tell them, hey, don't you move. Don't you move. Ragna, it is your turn. It's time for you to get angry. Now, remember, since you did take a knee, that does eat up uh, half your movement. Good thing you have reach. You could totally get here or here and hit them. And rage. If you wanted to do that. But we don't know what you're doing. Oh, looks like there is a, a click for rage while she's muted. I'm arguing with a, with a 14-year-old while trying to do this. That's why I'm... <laughs> I figured that was the case. That's why I'd keep needling until you unmute. <laughs> you know what? If you're arguing with a 14-year-old, you've already lost. Because even if you win, it's arguing with the 14-year-old. Oh. Violence is always preferred. <laughs> so which one of them are you going to attack while you are raging? 
A damaged one. The damaged one? So this guy that my clicker's not clicking on. And you swing your greatsword over that goblin who's scared to shit as this big giant bugbear pops out of the bushes and swings the sword again. He saw steel break when she swung the first time. But he's kind of getting in your damn way. With your eight, he will not make contact with that orc. He brings his axe up and he looks at you with your rage-filled eyes and he's just like, Filthy bugbear trash. You'll not eat our slaves today. No, but I'll eat your fucking face. <laughs> and he kind of gestures at his buddy. Surround her. We'll, we'll take this one as a new slave to replace the ones we just murdered. Anything for your bonus side? Oh, no, that, that would be everything. Okay, so, 10, 20, barely comes around here to flank Ragna. Okay, this one's gonna sidestep, uh, he can't. Uh, he's gonna murder that goblin in front of him, cause he's got to, to get it out of the way. That little goblin's a nuisance, so he's just gonna take it out. So he swings his great axe on the goblin and fumbles with a natural one. As he proceeds to swing his axe, and you see him kind of, you know, from that wound he took earlier that's gotten all necrotic and shit. It's nasty. He kind of like swings his weapon in the worst way ever, and it kind of like hits the rocks, and you just see the, the axe shatter. It's got this big crack that makes it pretty much useless. And the goblin's just like, <laughs> Stupid human orc! You failed to grasp how I would end you! And he kind of wiggles his little shovel menacingly with this giant bugbear behind him. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how emboldened he is with, a, with an eight-foot bugbear behind him. And the other orc, wishing his buddy had killed that goblin and stepped up to give him advantage, is going to swing on Ragna. And misses. And doesn't miss. Oh, dear goodness. He gets a natural 20, no less. Uh, he yeah. found his buddy's karma unless somebody saw something different. Well, that's why I was calling out before I didn't see if you'd rolled, but that's why I was calling out because he misses with the three was what I was going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, so, so by all <laughs> means, uh, so you're using your divine ability yeah. to replace his dice roll? Yeah, because I didn't expect you to roll that quick <laughs> I, I had his stats up already so I was super fast so oh, he fat, rolls he a wants to kill me he rolls a three so since he he does not have advantage and replaces that roll with a three Ragna kind of looks back and sees that orc that runs around him and she kind of like whips her pull her sword up and blocks great axe with great sword and there's of course sparks because it's cool because she's raging and he's angry <laughs> all the super aggressiveness and then we have our human in the initiative chain there he hasn't done anything. Uh, he he went he back and he hid. Yeah. He's, he's okay. stealth. Just, that was his thing. Okay. But yeah, I just looking didn't see him. Yeah, when he rolled the natural dice, he has the same initiative slot as the orc, so he goes after them. Oh, uh, okay. So this guy over here is going to go ahead and throw a javelin at Ragna. And this guy is going to throw a javelin at the magic user who keeps casting spells at their friends. So here's the one that's going at Ragna. Will a 12 hit her? No. As she Yay! kind of spins her greatsword and just knocks the javelin out of its trajectory. And then the other one fires off with a dirty 20 at our wizard. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's... As he hits you for six points. All right. Wow. And 
and they're going to continue their charge, leaving their buddy behind. Sucks to be that guy. And they're going to use their bonus action aggressive to get them where they need to be. Oh, that's difficult terrain, isn't it? Uh huh. That sucks. It's going to be just one shy. But that's not difficult terrain. We're going to go that way. Orcs Brothers is. is. And this is all of a sudden, that's, that's what our wizard was hoping for of the whole, are you going to help our friend? Huh. And he's going to cleverly come dancing out of the, the bushes. And he's going to run right into the mix of things because he is crazy that way. And okay. he's, he's going to go after the one that's opposite of our wizard. He's going to come around and cut, try to like backstab the guy. Because he wants to totally use that uh, advantage. Nice. He's totally okay with backstabbing somebody. I like him. <laughs> so he has a 16, which 16 will uh, hit. Let's see if his sword attacks are working correctly. Five piercing damage. Okay, so he hits this guy for five points of damage. And the orc just kind of sneers and goes, Goblins and humans working together? More slaves for the quarry master. As he's just kind of like, go. Hobby? Yeah, uh, hobby? And, you know, Tarkin. Tarkin's turn to, to tell these guys to climb fast. <laughs> um... Let's see, what's he gonna do? Um, he'll try to point out a better spot for them to climb, to maybe give them advantage. Okay, so he will, he will aid them so they have advantage. He's yeah. like, climb here, stupid! Climb here, stupid! <laughs> Okay, so our little goblin friend is going to attack that big, scary, horribly wounded orc at this point. Be totally funny if he kills him from you. It would be great. Oh, he hits. He does not, because he's swinging with disadvantage. Uh Oh. So he swings that mighty four against the side of the orc's leg, and you just hear the the shovel go tong. If only someone had healed him up, he'd he wouldn't be at disadvantage. Yeah, I'm cool with it. Or he gets a long rest with good food and water. Mm-hmm. So these two guys down here are going to try to climb again. And wow, they rolled a 9 and a 7. As they're trying to climb at the new spot that Tarkin's telling them to climb and it's not helping. The granite <laughs> is just dissolving in their fingertips. And of course, these guys... Don't feel terribly brave. It's not like they've seen orcs die. They just saw them fall. So they're not willing to rush the dogs or the orcs yet. Maybe if somebody yells something encouraging with some leadership or with some uh, performance or deception. So, Exna. Yeah. Your, uh, those are my talents. <laughs> your uh, hobgoblin commander looks very, very injured right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> He looks like he would love some of your healing gifts. Uh Uh-huh. So, I'm just, I'm reading up on something. No, 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 reading up is good. Dang it. Okay, so, um, I will, do, 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 yeah, I have to touch you. Um, I will run up to you and touch you and use cure wounds. Touch you. Yeah. All right. Level one, submit. He wants to feel healthy. <laughs> like that helped. <laughs> Sorry, not you. Uh, the thing. So four uh-huh. points. As you feel a rush of vitality pour back into you. And then. Oop, no, I want that. Uh, so three points, yep. 
And then I'm going to jump and hopefully stealth away. Okay. Yes. Well, they only use away. like 10 feet of your movement, so you could move up to 20 feet away. Yeah. I just... Uh, there. <laughs> okay. And you vanish into the underbrush. Oh, yeah, that human totally is gone. <laughs> that human was totally good with you guys being a diversion so he can run for the hills. Yep. Because okay. a human. So what is our hobgoblin wizard going to do? You're you're pretty jacked up. You got three orcs in front of you. Thank, thankfully, only one of them is within weapons re- reach of you. But all three are within weapons reach of you. Yep. So the guy next to me there, as foreseen, with a 19, I swing my glaive at him. So okay. Using, using my... Now, you 19, rolled the 19 four, to replace your 6, but you did also roll a natural 20, and you do have advantage on both of these. So which which one was it? Oh, the one closest to me. This one? Oh, we do have advantage, yeah. Yeah, you're, that bo- that's exactly why your human friend ran out there to put himself in danger, was to give uh, you, you both right, advantage. Right. All right, so so you have 20. a natural 20. All and right. you burned uh, all of your destiny, de- your divinity uh, dust. Unfortunately, but so if you click right, on glaive, it should that, roll your extra dice damage for you. Yep. So I'm also uttering some words with it as well, and that's so. What's the plus four? Uh, that's the natural twenty. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sadly, like... you rolled very poorly. You rolled a yeah. you rolled a two plus one, and yeah, yeah. a. Four. So your 2d10 only came up for seven points of damage. Yep. And with that, I uttered some some words. Ooh, and... flame blade. Yeah, so the guy next to him here... Gets um, kissed with three points fire. of... fire. Actually, is it three? Is that... Yeah, see, it shouldn't be a roll, actually. Because green flame blade. Yeah, it looks like it just came up as a straight three. Yeah, because it's supposed to be. Does it not put description? Uh, you have to click show spell description under the three. See where it says three to sell? Uh, and if you oh, click spell go. description, it'll open up for you. Is it supposed to be what my spell attack bonus ability? or? Uh, I think it's just a static number unless you cast it at higher levels. Right, but it's, let's see, five feet, the second creature takes fire damage equal to your spellcasting ability modifier. And, of course, if you cast it at higher levels, it's a dice, plus your spellcasting modifier. Right, so spellcasting Which is your ability. intel. Oh, it's plus five, but that's because of... Proficiency. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's basically just, the just your intel modifier. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's right. So, so green fire, green goblin flame. flames. Yep. Piffle off the first one and and burn the face of the second one. And are you good with where you're standing? Um. You're in a precarious place. I know. Um, on the plus side, you will give Ragnar advantage on this guy. If you stand your ground. Yeah, but if I move... Attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity, so... So, yeah. Stand your ground bravely. Stand my ground, yep. Okay, the wolves are down there barking barking their ass off. You hear the barky, 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 barky. I was really hoping for more glaive damage, but... (laughs) <laughs> yes, the glaive roll did not... Uh, for natural 20, you got robbed big time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Ragna, it is your turn. Which one is the one that I'll have advantage on? Uh, you have one? advantage on this one. This one. The one right okay. behind you that was trying to flank you and get, give his buddy and him advantage on you. Yeah, the other guy's disarmed at the moment, so... Nice. 
Okay, so uh, you're, you're going after the one with advantage that just gave you a natural 20? Mm-hmm. Yep. So go ahead and click great sword as you... Ooh. What does it look like when you murder this guy? <laughs> I split his skull in half. Woo! And we're talking like a perfectly clean great sword through the skull, which is like to about the pectoral muscles, as you just see his head spray blood everywhere. Yeah, see, that's what my glaive should have been, too. We could have taken two out. <laughs> yeah, that, that, your right? glaive should have totally have done that much damage. Then she could have stepped up here and had advantage on this guy. Okay, any uh, yeah. any movement you'd like to make? Got robbed. Uh, no, because I'll have an attack of opportunity. Well, remember, you could totally step here or here and not get attack of opportunity. Really? Yeah, because you're still engaged. If, in, as, um, as long as you don't leave like right his here? threat or leave his, you know... You could totally step right there and not get attack of opportunity. Yeah, awesome. If you're moving in, you're fine. It's, you're you're basically in. aggressively stepping over the corpse that you just created and looking at the guy like, bring it. <laughs> Sadly, your little goblin here friend is going to be feeling very endangered, but uh, this guy's got no axe, so what's he going to do? Punch him? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Kick him? Who knows? So orc this be a scared orc and run away. This scared orc is going to grapple the goblin. Oh my goodness. So he's going to go ahead and grapple the goblin. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's in trouble. Now the goblin does have disadvantage. <laughs> so he could roll lower. <laughs> wow, what's 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 his strength bonus so he's plus three so the goblin he starts to wrestle the goblin and it kind of squirms out of his grasp in this like weird display of goblin kung fu <laughs> as the go- as the orcs just pissed that his axe is broken and the sweaty goblin is too slippery to grab onto that sucks for him mm-hmm. oh that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> I think as- you found your future husband Exna <laughs> <laughs> Wow. In the middle of combat, you're uh, date Ooh, matching here. Heart your... eyes. Heart <laughs> eyes. <laughs> so this so... guy is going to go ahead and stab the human behind him with his axe. Because he, he knows doesn't that want that... to try to stab the raging, crazy bugbear beast? Uh, no, no. He's, he's, he's worried about the human that stabbed him in the back earlier before the uh, hobgoblin glaived him. Oh my god. And he's gonna swing his axe at that human for all it's worth. For ten points of damage, which which is a good chunk. Yeah. Our, our dear noble's got this nasty gashed wound on him that, that he is not he's not appreciating at all. And this one is gonna swing his axe on the orc. I mean on the bugbear. Oh, I was going to say the orc. Really? Betrayal most foul. (laughs) Will a 17 hit our bugbear? My shield of faith protects me. As he swings the axe and you miss the parry, but all of a sudden the axe bounces like two inches off your face because there's a magical shield protecting you. That's awesome. As he just gives you this look like, magic shield? On a bugbear! Yeah. As he this, doesn't really know about the goblin yet. Yep. Hey. This guy's gonna come up here and he's gonna, he's gonna smack one of the prisoners. <gasps> How dare. Wow, that was the poorest abuse ever. As he rolls a five, as the prisoner like cowers back from the blow, it's like a, a beaten child. You know, immediately the orc comes up to backhand him, and he just cowers back just out of the smack. And and, and he shouts to this guy to go get the quarry master, and he goes <gasps> running off into the cave. They, they they've seen some orcs falter, and they're not liking that. And this guy's sleeping nicely. And this guy's <laughs> sleeping nicely. I mean, at least that way you know that the sleep spell's getting your money's worth. Yep. yep. And your human friend, after being stabbed by this asshole, is going to stab him right back himself. He feels confident because y'all have jacked that guy up pretty good. So he's, he's, he's going to go for the kill steal. 
Ooh, and he rolls a 14, which is good enough to hit. And his dice are working, so you can see he did four points of damage, which is enough to stab the orc in the guts. I thought and you said he had a rapier, not a short sword. Yeah, it's a rapier, but that's what it's on the uh, stats there, so that's what I'm going Yeah, 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 we're getting juked out of two potential points. <laughs> yeah. Just because his dex bonus is better out of the, than his strength bonus. As he he stabs the orc with some satisfaction, he looks he looks right at the hobgoblin with fierceness in his eyes. As all of a sudden, our hobgoblins realize that this human has found his his goblin blood. <laughs> he might be a weak red blooded human, but he has found his goblin blood, as they say. And Tarkin's going. Over here, idiots. So what is Tarkin doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I kind of want to tell those guys to rise up, but I don't know. Um, do any of them over there have weapons or look any better? Uh, they they all look really bad. I mean, like I said, a stiff wind okay. and they're rolling at disadvantage. All right. It's almost um, like they, they keep them weak as kittens for a reason. Yeah. So he'll come flying by, buzz this guy's head to give disadvantage. Ooh. As Tarkin is, is basically pestering the orc that's between all three of you practically. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, that's our slave's turn. As our mighty goblin slave is going to slay, slay the orc in front of him. Oh. oh. With a two. Dang it. Oh, yeah, As he right. goes, <laughs> k-dong, with his little axe. Brave little guy. And then these guys here are going to try climbing. And they just cannot climb for shit. They must be, have the, the weakest, scrawniest arms ever. Now these two, the one that he, the orc in the middle of the quarry tried to backhand, both of these guys are going to attempt to run. So first this one's going to run, and the wolf is going to take his attack of opportunity. It's probably not going to be good as the wolf snaps at him as he goes. And the best part is we get to use Borf's character. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that is messed oh. up. As it bites and does more than one point of damage and murders him right there. Wow. Poor thing. And this one, also feeling gutsy, is running, and the orc is going to swing on him. It's almost like the orc and the wolf know how to work together as a team. Damn. As you can hear the wolf barking now, as he wrote, wow, he rolls max on the damage. And that one goes down. And these three slaves are cowering, going, help! 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 <laughs> as, as you guys feel bad for him. So, Exno, what you gonna do? Okay, I... Should probably do another cure wounds on uh girl. I can't Geldrin? say his name. Yeah, Geldrin. Geldrin. You can't say Geldrin without gelding. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, because I want you to live, but at the same time, I want to use it at the end of all of this. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Um, but it's my last spell. And and you kind of w- w- whisper to him that this is the last of your divine healing. Yeah. Is do you want me to use it? Yeah, I mean, need to be able to fight here. He's yeah. one bad sneeze from dying from a bloody nose. <laughs> okay. So this is the last one. Here we go. Nice. nice. Good nice. solid nine points. You just like slap your hands together, Mr. Miyagi style, the, the extra healing juju going. Yeah. And then I'm gonna stealth away. Your stealth heal bot reporting for duty. And flee! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so Geldrin, you definitely feel better after that last healing oh, yeah. surge that was dropped into you from her healing hands. And all you feel is this tiny hand, like the size of a child, touch you and squeeze your ass cheek. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing back there, but I feel better, so that's the important part. <laughs> and you hear goblin giggle from the bush. Right. <laughs> All right then. So we are going to swing away on this little fool. On the one that's surrounded by your colleagues. Yeah, with some uh, infernal guttering. Ooh. He's the guy that caught some green flame in the face. Yeah. Well, this time he's got something else going on. Oh dear. So your nine will not hit. No. All right. Is there anything Doesn't you want to do? Does he have advantage to... because he's flanked? He does not. If he was to move up here behind you, he would be flanking. But from his position, he would have needed someone opposite of him to flank. Yeah. Oh, I didn't right. realize it So is there opposite. anything our hobgoblin would like to do to see if they can improve that number? Oh, yeah, well, oh, yeah, they're not that bad, are they? So, yeah, we will, uh, what do I have? I got one, two, three, and target four. There. Yep, so four, and so that would be 13. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you're, what are you doing to get that bonus from, so your rest of your team knows? Oh, yeah, so, do, do, do. I was going to say, you can just say it by name. Yeah, so we're saving face. So you're using your hobgoblin racial power to uh, make the roll better, and that's that's just a freebie, right? It's not a bonus action. Right? I don't, uh, like don't think so. Um, let's see here. Yep, looks what like you just bon- gain a bonus to the roll equal to the number of allies within 30 yep. feet that you can see. If only the goblin wasn't hiding. So uh, you turn that nine into a thirteen, right? What about the gob, the brave goblin? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll count him as one of you guys since ally. you guys bolstered yep. him. Okay, yep. so fourteen. Yep. Your fourteen will hit. All right. Okay, so you're doing eight points of damage to the guy with the glaive. Yep. He's. Still seems to be alive, even though he looks like crap, but he doesn't look like he's going to fall over in a stiff wind. And yeah, if he moves... Yep, takes two. He'll take two points of booming blade um, damage as he's got this weird shaky vibration thing going. A mighty two. <laughs> okay, so the wolves. The wolves, they're getting antsy down there. Uh, this wolf is going to go ahead and snap at the goblin because goblins are the easiest thing to bite. And it will hit as it bites the goblin by the throat and you either hear this horrible, gully sound of the goblin dying in its own blood. This is what happens when these slavers start thinking that they're losing. They're going to start murdering their hostages. Wow. The least money efficient people out there. So, Rachna, your mighty goblin that couldn't has been fighting that guy that's got no axe. You have your friend surrounding this uh, goblin here to give you advantage. And he looks like even if you made a crappy swing of your mighty sword, you could probably chop off some body parts. What would you like to do while you're berserking? Uh, Gotta attack something. Hit the closest <laughs> thing to me. Okay, so the guy right next to you, you do have advantage since you guys are flanking him. So Everybody yes. went silent? Yeah, yeah. We, we were waiting for you to say something, I think. Your yeah. dirty 20 will <laughs> definitely hurt. No pro- hit, no problem. Oops, sorry. 
<laughs> for seven points of damage as you swing and, and you're just doing that here, bada, 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 and you just jam your sword up his back and out his chest, kind of sprays blood all over your young friend. He's just like, wow, never, remind me never to piss off the bugbear. <laughs> as the, the orc just, you know, you flick the body off your sword, ready for more, more horrible, gore, gory, deathly, uh, final battle damage to somebody. Yeah. You can still can move, move? Yet. Yeah, yeah, you can totally move. Can I move to here? Um, no, because remember, each one of these orange squares are 10 feet to move. So 10, 20, 30. Fuck! That's annoying. That's what difficult trains for. It jacks up the battle. I'm coming to get you, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> as the orc's eyes get huge, as he looks down at his broken axe, and the fact he just tried to wrestle the goblin, and the goblin's like, <laughs> you're screwed now! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad day for the orcs. And yes, I actually say that. <laughs> and that's why it's a bad day for the orcs. Okay, what is an orc to do? Things are bad. Things are very bad. The orc is going to turn tail and run from you both. Ooh. He's basically running in this general direction because he realizes he is screwed. And he's going to run back and grab his buddy's axe on the ground over here, at the very least possibly run all the way out of this place if he has to. So, Ragna, would you like to take an attack of opportunity with advantage? As your goblin friend will be taking one at not disadvantage. Mm. Yes! And it looks like he still misses, so it's up to you. And your 14 will hit. Roll for damage. And your five is definitely more than enough to cut him down. What does it look like when he takes one step and you murder him? I slice him into his shoulder between his neck and his shoulder. And my sword gets almost stuck, but then I push him off it. And he just does that xylophone thing where his, his open chest cavities <laughs> sprays the canyon wall. It's okay, because his, his brethren have bled down this area, too, so it's just covered in orcs' blood. Orcs. And, uh... Yeah, this guy is going to... Head over here, and we'll move the dead guy. Get him off, the, get him out of the way. And he's going to try to murder this guy. Because he's a jerk that way. And rolls a seven. And misses the guy. He swings his axe and the poor guy like drops flat to the ground. And the axe just shoots sparks as it hits the, the wall of the quarry. And he just sneers. He's like, I'm going to kill you before anyone can rescue you. And they're just like, help, help. <laughs> So, Tarkin, what you gonna do? Mm. As this little guy looks at Ragnar and goes, I helped! I helped greatly! <laughs> um, what is he going to do? I don't know. He'll, oops, Bobby. Head this way, somewhere. You kind of fly over this way, Tom. Climb, fools! <laughs> climb, you fools! Climb! Mm, that's close. That's super close. Sorry, I was measuring something for later. Okay. Yeah. So, of course, this little goblin, he's going to go ahead and... Uh, run towards the nearest sleeping orc to stabs it with his shovels. So that's 10, <laughs> 20. 
he gets about right there, and then he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and run that far. He's going to murder the sleeping one. Oh, dear God. As he's just got his shovel over his head in some great axe style swing, as he's just like, ah, ha, 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 ha. You've created a, a menace. These two are going to try to attempt to climb one more time because they're terrified. They, they really, oh my God, they, again with a five and a nine. These two are cursed. They cannot climb. It must be like an old lady and an old goblin. <laughs> they're that sweet old couple with the little old lady and the little old man goblin who's just got a pot yeah. belly and a bald head. Yeah. These two, realizing that they're basically going to die, this one's going to try to grapple the orc. It's going to be really sad because he's rolling a disadvantage against an orc with advantage. Ugh. This this is not going to be good as he's wrestling the orc. And the orc just kind of laughs at him and wrestles back. And I'm betting this is... Yeah, he rolls way better than the one. So the orc kind of laughs at him and just shoves his elbow in his mouth and he sprays blood. And this guy is going to attempt to pounce the orc because they were trying to teamwork here and it was not working. So the orc's going to do his strength save. Hey, this this might be good in their favor. Maybe t- tag teaming was the trick. We can hope. And no... He gets a four. So they both kind of wrestle the orc and the orc's just like oh, elbows God. one in the face and kicks the other one in the shin. And he's just like, bring it. Okay, so Exna, what you going to do? Um, You're proud of this goblin, by the way. He is a total yeah. creature of chaos and you are super proud of him. Okay, so you're saying that this dude is asleep, right? That dude is on the ground asleep, yep. Okay. Um, so I probably shouldn't use Toll of the Dead to wake him up. Uh, I, hmm. <laughs> I, I don't really have anything here to do him. other than to, like, stop. <laughs> what? You could holler at him to stop. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Uh, that's hey! him to coup de gras properly. Stop it! <laughs> so you yell at him to stop and uh, go ahead and give me a persuasion or charm. I mean, which, which, whichever you like to go for. Let's see. Use a talking skill to talk him from possibly rolling horribly bad and just waking this guy up. Yeah. As he swings uh, anime style way over his head and just goes tink on its nose and its eyes open up. Okay. We're going to do persuasion. As you're like, hey, you, stop. Yeah. As he literally, he's doing this Muppet style run with the axe over his head and literally just like, <laughs> er, and looks back at the bush that just talked to him and told him to stop. Well, no, he, I got out to like yell at him. He totally recognizes your voice. So he, so he, he immediately does that head turn like, Yes. <laughs> Are there any directions you'd like to give him? Get back here. And, and, and he just gives you this sad look like, okay. You know, you totally could see that he was going to go for the death charge. But since you're telling yeah. him not to, he, he is definitely going to capitulate with you with your request. Yeah, I want something a little stronger to kill that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust him to make a coup de gras hit. Yeah. He uh-uh. shifts one of your martial classes to go over there and just go stab with, with a big shovel. weapon. Right? <laughs> that I fixed, but still. It's now a nice shovel. <laughs> <laughs> it can dig very well now. <laughs> it will not break. And then I'm going to run and hide. Okay. Still. All right. So... It is our wizard's troon who's measuring range on the map to the inside yeah. of the quarry. To that yeah. angry orc who's killing people just to kill people. like Almost like he's been told not to kill people and he's thinking he has carte blanche at this point. Yeah. So... Does that hit? 
Will a fire bolt with a dirty 22? Yeah, that'll kind of hit the guy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll that definitely kind of hit the guy in the best way ever. You know, he's here he Mother. is wrestling these guys, and the fire bolt oh hits him in the God. side of the face for one <sighs> point of damage. Holy uh, fuck. You're Hopefully totally just trying to get his, to attention, get his right? attention. Yeah, exactly. You know, these guys are these these guys are wrestling him as he's murdering them one by one, and you shoot him for one point with a fire bolt in the in the temple. It's like warning damage or warning shot. <laughs> Obviously, the nice moisture from this this pool in the middle of the pit cooled off your fire bolt in the cool <laughs> afternoon sun. Okay, so it is the wolves' turn. As the wolves kind of like just menace, but they're not, uh, they're, they're not killing anyone that leaves. They're just holding their ground. And that wraps up the round with Ragna. What are you going to do, Ragna? <laughs> As this poor goblin that went running off is totally stopped and going to go, okay, and drag his shovel back to you guys. How so many times the problem I have is you're gonna lose rage. Is I'm gonna lose rage regardless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And don't forget the height difference. Right. That it's a little over ten feet. To My the next question level. is, oh hobgoblin of doom, <laughs> would you rather me run towards the uh, three to one bad guys? Or, oh, that guy's dead. No, that guy's sleeping. They're both sleeping. They're both sleeping. That guy's sleeping? That guy's sleeping, yeah. Or would you rather me throw a javelin at that dude? No, they're both sleeping, so they're they're out of the thing for now. So we need to... I mean, I can run at these guys and shoot a javelin. Yeah, because that'll stop them from hopefully killing the slaves. And then my next question is for the oh-so-formidable DM. (laughs) I am assuming that I cannot start my rage as a bonus action if it technically hasn't ended until the end of my action. Well, yeah, you you basically would do with your movement and an attack. If you can't get a melee attack, your rage ends. So basically on your next turn, you have to turn your rage back on. Okay. Okay. Like in How to Train Your Dragon, you'd have to bite your shield or your your sword hilt to get your rage back. Okay, so then my my third and final question is, can I get this far? You can get that far. It's difficult terrain, so it's double the distance, so that would exactly be your 30 feet. And then I can shoot. Or throw my javelin. Without being in in a horrible distance, yes. Chuck your javelin. Because you'd be at 60 <laughs> feet. To, if you climb down the rest of that little worn-out berm in the mine, you'd only be 60, 60 feet away from that orc. And mad as nails that you're calming down as the javelin flies through the air. As you throw your mighty javelin and, and totally blame the wizard's firebolt for distracting you... <laughs> As it must have been, your javelin got in the way of his firebolt, and that's what ate up most of his firebolt damage. And I don't have. Uh, I have inspiration. Can but you I have use to it? use it before you make the roll. Uh, but I didn't realize I had it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you do have to use it before you roll. That's fine. So as you throw your javelin, the the firebolt hits this guy in the head for one point of damage, and then your javelin lands like two inches away from his face between him and the human, sticking in the stone wall, going... Oh, come on, it didn't land in the water? Nope, it landed (laughs) in the stone wall, probably jacking its head all up, and the orc just looks your guys' direction like, I am in Shit's Creek here, aren't I? (laughs) And uh, as as you guys, you know, do that, and since it is the end of the round, all of a sudden, mm. I knew that was going to happen. Yep. 
another fantastic comes out of the cave. Ooh, and he's in a hurry to come out of that cave, apparently. As this this half orc, he is huge with the human pink skin and the whip marks across his back where he was abused once. He's got scars going up and down his arms like he uses scarification as an actual spectator sport because they actually kind of match. He's got his massive uh, frame glistening in, in the the setting of the sun. As you see, he's got the nicest, nicest spears in his hands. He's got three of them. He's got a couple of you know, little streamers on them, so you can tell, tell he's really good at throwing them. As he comes stepping out with these spears and just sticks all three of them into the ground. Almost like he's putting them there so he can just pull them out and throw them, pull them out and throw them. As he lets out this roar of human orc rage. Mm. As you just hear this echo as he he says, what is going on in my quarry? And he kind of like does this 365 gladiator type of twirl. As he's just uh, kind of trying to take it all in with his his mighty eleven for perception, which is barely above his passive perception, and he's basically you can see in his eyes he's lazing targets of who's going to be his next target that he's going for, or the first as the case may be, and he kind of immediately looks this way, and Ragna kind of catches his attention first because she looks big and bad and scary shit. He can barely see That's these the guys whole point. up here. He sees orc on the ground here, dead slaves over here, and this guy kind of starts trembling when he looks and sees his boss out there. And he's just like, uh, uh, uh. And uh, pretty much at that point, that's a good place to wrap it up there for now. <laughs> <laughs> As you and now we don't have, get to play for like a month. I right. know, because I have fireworks coming up. So actually, oh shit, yeah, two weeks is the fourth. Yep, yep. So if I don't have anything happening on Wednesday the 7th, do you want me to see if you guys are free to play too? Yes, what? Sure. Sure. Because I don't think I have any games with any of you guys on the 7th. So I'll and check I'll be to see. back in to town by then. So, yay! So we'll see if I can get that one free. I don't know for sure, so I won't say 100% yet. Okay. But now you have big, scary half orc looking to throw some spears into people's bodies right now. He's got Time beautiful, glistening muscles and scars, and he—you sense that this orc is an orc among orcs, or a half orc among half orcs even. As these two slaves, by the way, immediately drop to the ground and take like the the prostrated position of "Don't murder us." Obviously, we haven't tried to escape at all. <laughs> you gotta feel bad for those two. They must be like the oldest, witheredest, most slaves in the whole community because they could not climb that wall for the life of them. Nah, that was I mean, bad. they couldn't even roll a ten or higher. That was bad. Okay, so uh, prepare for a big, nasty, ugly fight next time we get back together. Master yeah. Blaster. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Because I was almost tempted to have this guy spear this guy, but uh, he might need another orc in this fight. Ah, uh, well. Uh, Alrighty, Steve, guys. You're quite welcome. <laughs> So, uh, good teamwork, by the way. I gotta throw it out there. You guys did use good teamwork. Your cleric was quick with the pop out of hiding heal and go back into hiding. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, that was pretty rad. <laughs> yeah, now we're sitting pretty good. Considering, uh, the numbers initially. We're, mm-hmm. we're sitting okay. Yeah. I got I... one spell slot left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero. Uh, I I love the sound that was that was that was put with that one of yeah one spell slot left. But, but, 
that's not my only trick. I, I can melee too, so you know, mm-hmm. we're good. And you know, you can totally use leadership skills. I, I that definitely, even though I'm a hobgoblin, that's not my thing. <laughs> I actually have military rank, by the way. Nice. Uh, not really going to help us in this situation, but... What does yeah, it no. do? Oh, uh, well, the, it from only your affects, background. It, yeah, yeah. It, it it says something along the lines of, form, I have like ties loyal to my formal mil- military organization, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. So uh, like, whenever you decide like, what military company you served in whether it was like a free company or an actual government or an actual tribe. Well, I, I just figured it was with whatever goblin war band I was part of before this. So is that war band like just, just a tribal group or is it actually a free company type of thing? That's uh, totally up to, to you to continued. decide. See, that's to probably, continued. that's totally something for you to make up under the warlord or whatever, but mm-hmm. But, but yeah, yeah. No, my, chari- my charisma is eight, so I'm like negative one on any kind of social <laughs> interactions. That's hey, why. I'm, so am I. Hey, okay. I can make it up for the three of us. That's why I'm the wizard, and I tell people things and know things and stuff. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta go. Really so, so bye guys. All right, All right. See ya. have a good night, guys. Bye. bye. Yeah, see, I know things and cast spells and stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> I advise people, the, the people from behind, typically not lead. <laughs> you know, you're you're like Jafar. You're really smart. You know things, but you're really not the best leader, charisma wise. No, 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 not at all. So, mm-hmm. so all right, we got right. this. You totally got this. This guy can't be some horrific monster of or, of half <laughs> proportion that could end up murdering everyone slowly but surely and work his way up to you guys because he's probably not going to try to climb the wall himself. Yep, we got some he, advantage. He'll gladly walk up this direction, climb up here, and then climb up the difficult terrain. After, of course, he's used all his spears on poor Ragna. Yeah, that's not raging now, so... Yeah, or badass Ragna will do an athletics after she starts raging. She'll she'll do an athletics jump to jump the ten feet to the lower level and face him. There you go. And then use her next attack to shove him against the wall, so that way you can just get it above the wall him and poke down your glaive on him. <laughs> <laughs> so you can attack from a nice safe advantage point. Because I would totally give you the advantage for that. That's kind of exactly the tactic they're made for. Yep. Yep. The idea is she's in front, I'm behind. (laughs) Though she has reach too, so. (laughs) Yep. Alrighty. So I will go ahead and call it a night as well. Alright. We'll talk to you later. Later, Later, guys. Alright. Bye. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Please follow us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash cppn to never miss a show or stream. Hello, this is Eric. And Wendy Strzok with Stone Valley Hobby and Games. We sell board games, card games, role-playing games, and supplies. We have thousands of Magic the Gathering cards available, carry Kickstarter products, and work with veteran-owned small businesses to bring you our own line of products. We are a small business retailer, but we offer competitive prices, a loyalty system, and free shipping on orders over $100. As a military veteran myself, I'm a strong supporter of our armed forces, their families, and contractors out there doing the hard job. So any order from an AA, AE, or EP address will be shipped absolutely free. Remember, StoneValleyGames.com, where we take your leisure seriously.